So this was a similar question to what a lot of my year sixes got wrong last year. This is a bod maths question. However, I wanted to give you guys a range of tips to make your maths sats a little bit easier. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Thomas Bakemore. I teach travel and sometimes triumph. And this is a teach video. This time last year, I was a year six teacher in the UK. Right now, I'm a year two teacher in Dubai. This time last year, my children were going through their year six SAT test. So I made a range of videos to help them with their SATs. Now, what I didn't realize is that children wanted some sort of advice for every single subject. So this is going to be about the maths SATs exam. So within the maths SATs exam, there are three different tests. You'll have the arithmetic and two different reasoning ones. The arithmetic paper covers a range of different calculation, fractions, percentage questions, mainly number type things. Whereas the reasoning starts to go into depth with things like shape and statistics, although number and fractions and percentage, they can still be covered within those tests. And it's more about problem solving within them. My first tip, read and understand the question. I always say this as one of my tips. But when it comes to an exam, it's really easy to misread a question. If, once you've read through the question twice, you're still not really sure, ask a teacher to read it back to you. They can't give you any advice. However, hearing someone else read a question can sometimes make it a little bit easier to understand. Tip number two, use the working out box. Now, this is one that teachers will say over and over again. Now, if there is a question that says, put your working out here, then make sure you use that to do your calculation. The reason I say that is if you make a small error in some of your calculation and your answer is wrong, you can still pick up one mark, not the full two or three or whatever, from that sort of calculation. So it's well worth putting your calculations within that box and really making sure that it is clear. Tip number three, revision. Now, I'm not a big fan of revision, however, with arithmetic, reasoning not so much, but with arithmetic, you can do a little bit more revision to help build up those marks. Now, there's a range of different games that you can use, and I'm going to link them down below. Now, there is paid ones such as Times Table Rockstars, however, there are a range of really good free games that you can download and go on to. You've got Maths Frames, and I'm sure there is a range of different apps. I'm gonna post the links of some of the games that I like to show my class down below, so feel free to click on those to really build some of those skills, because I know that revision can get quite dull, so using games is a fun way to revise. My next tip, when reading through the questions, be aware of certain keywords. Words like not and both can really change the question format. Now, if you want a little bit more advice on math tips, I'm going to put a link to another video down in my description. It's really good for math tips, and it sort of explains that not on both question a little bit more in detail. Um, it's worth checking out. It's not part of my channel, but I just want you guys to do as well as possible. The next tip, answer the questions properly. If the question says circle the specific answer, if the question says match the answers up, then make sure you do that because it is far too easy to start doing the wrong types of things. Another general tip that I really like is making sure that if you decide you're going to miss a question, that you put a mark by that question, whether it's a circle or a star, just to make sure that you know that is a question you've missed out. So that when you come back through the paper, you know you've still got to do that one because it's far too easy to just be excited to finish and just completely miss questions or a full page that happens. My final tip is to make sure that when you say you've checked your answers that you actually have. One strategy that I like to use when I check my answers is to read the question first and then look at the answer. If the answer is completely way out there and doesn't really make sense to what the question is asking, then there's a chance there might be a problem. So you just need to look through that, make sure your calculations are right, and make sure that your answer matches up with what you think the question is asking. So guys, I feel like this has been quite a quick SATS tips video. And the reason that is, is because with maths, it's either right or wrong. However, if you have any other tips that you want to give to some of your peers, or if you're a teacher, some of the children, feel free to use the comments and read through those. I'll be reading through those as well, and I'd like to reply to some of your comments too. Make sure to like the video if you've enjoyed them, and to also check out a range of other SATS videos up in the corner. 
If you're new to the channel and you've really enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. I make a range of teaching and traveling videos. I'll see you in the next one, guys. I'm out. Tip number two, use the working out box. If you have a problem, ah!